हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय नेम इज मयुरी पवार अँड आय एम फ्रॉम आय टी डिपार्टमेंट वी आर गोईंग टू स्टडी डेटा अट्रॅक्शन इन डी बी एम एस लेट सी डेटा अट्रॅक्शन इज नथिंग बट रिट्रीविंग ओनली द रिक्वायर्ड अमाऊंट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द सिस्टीम अँड हायडिंग द बॅकग्राऊंड डिटेल्स वॉट इज अब्स्ट्रॅक्शन data abstraction means retrieving only the required amount of information about the system and hiding the background details there are several levels of abstraction that simply user interaction with the system that are physical level logical level and view level database system comprise complex data structure in order to make the system efficient in terms of retrieval of data and reduced complexity in terms of usability of users developers use abstraction that is hide irre- irrelevant details means that is not relevant to the user hiding irrelevant irrelevant details from the user this approach simplifies the database design there are mainly three levels of data abstraction as i said logical level and view level physical level this is the lowest level of abstraction this level describe how the data are stored the database administrator decide how to store data at the physical level this level describe the complex low level data structure this means physical level as i said it is the lower lowest level of data abstraction it tells us how the data is actually stored in memory the access method like sequential or random access and file organization methods like uh, binary tree hashing used for the same usability size of memory and the number of times the records we need to know while designing the database for example suppose we need to store the details of an employee block of storage and the amount of memory used for this purpose are hidden that is memory required for that particular database it is hidden from the user next one is logical level this is the next higher level which describes what data are stored in database this level also describe the relationship between the data the logical level this describe the entire database in terms of a small number of relatively simple structures the database administrator use a logical level of abstraction for deciding what information to keep in the database in simple words logical level comprise the information that is actually stored in the database in the form of tables as you all know data stored in the form of tables tables means relation it is also store the relationship among the data entities in relatively simple structure at this level the information available to the user at the view level is unknown we can store the various attributes of an employee and relationship for example with the manager can also be stored next level is view level this is the highest level of abstraction only a part of the actual database is viewed by the users this level exists to ease the accessibility of the database by an individual user users views data in the form of rows and columns table and relations are used to store data multiple views of the same database may exist user can just view the data and interact with the database storage and implementation details are di- hidden from them in simple word view level is the highest level of abstraction that describe only the part of the entire database then view level can provide access to only part of the database not whole database it only give 
access to part of the database particular part of database next this level helps in simplifying the interaction with the system if you want to access contact number of student or prn number of ACI, acit student in that case view level only view level can provide access to that particular column that is prn number of student this level helps in simplifying the interaction with the system it can provide multiple view of the same system for example a clerk at the reservation system can see only part of the database and access the passengers required information for example uh, let's take an example of employee record employee id employee name department number salary at the physical level the record that is customer employee department can be described as a block of consecutive storage location many database system hide lowest level storage details from the database programmer at the logical level the type of definition or the type definition of the record is decided at the logical level the programmer work at this level that is database administrator also work at this level of abstraction and there is a specific view of the record is allowed at the view level for instance customer can view the name of the employee or id of the employee but cannot access the employee salary there is a specific permission there is specific view of the record is allowed at the view level customer can view only the name of employee or the id of employee but cannot access whole record that is employee salary address and all things that is all about physical level logical level and view level view level means user level physical level is lowest level that describe how the actual data are stored logical level this is the highest higher level that is next higher level to the physical level this level describe relationship between data means logical level describe entire database in terms of small number of relatively simple structure the main purpose of the data abstraction is to achieve data independence in order and cost required when the database is modified or altered we have namely two levels of data independence arising from these levels of abs abstraction that is physical level it refers to the characteristics of being able to modify the physical schema without any alteration to the conceptual or logical schema done for optimization purposes for example conceptual structure of the database would not be affected by any change in storage size of the database system server utilizing new storage devices modifying data structure used for storage and third one altering indexes or using al alternative file organization technique this is all about physical level data independence next one is logical level data independence it refers to the characteristics of being able to modify the logical schema without affecting the external schema or application program the user view of the data would not be affected by any changes to the conceptual view of the data these changes may include insertion or deletion of attribute altering the table structure entities or relationship to the logical schema these are all about the logical level of data independence thank you